Good morning, thanks for joining me. I hope everybody's well today. Just let me get myself comfy and at the right angle. How are we all doing? One of the things I get asked about the very most of all the things I get asked by viewers is about what makeup I use. And so I thought I'd do a little get ready with me while we chat about 2023 so far and how it's been. Um, I don't like to call my makeup videos tutorials because everything I know about makeup I learnt from YouTube and um, I'm certainly no makeup artist but I do enjoy makeup very much and um, so whilst this is not absolutely not any sort of tutorial I will um, put my makeup on chat to you about what's going on this year because I wanted to do a sort of roundup of the year so far I'm just getting everything out I've got a little box here with my makeup so I'm just getting it all out so I can find everything easily when it comes to the time to put it on and I will list all the products that I use in the description box below and in the pinned comment as well um, we've got some more expensive stuff and some less expensive stuff and I'm going to start off, actually, one of the reasons I wanted to do this video is I got sent this set of makeup brushes, which are super cheap. It's £10 for the whole set on Amazon. Um, I haven't tried them, as you can see, most of them are still in their little um, brush condom things. And that's the doorbell. Isn't that always the way? Right, I'm back. It was a delivery, so I'm going to take all the little nets off the top of these brushes and yeah it was 10 pounds for the whole set so let's see if they're any good because if you're looking for makeup brushes and they're any good i can recommend them can't i um got five sort of face brushes there and then loads of more eye brushes i guess we call them so without further ado let's get stuck in so we'll bring you in a little bit so you can see more easily what I'm doing. Hang on, let me re-angle you as well. God, that's terrifying. There we are, that works. Starting off with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base as a primer. Definitely finding, I haven't been using this long. This is my first tub of it. I got the travel size because um, I like to try things out, I don't like to commit to the full size first, but this is very, very nice. It's got a very pleasant smell, sort of vaguely orangey, I think. And it's very, very moisturizing. And as I get older, I very much enjoy a more moisturizing or glowing primer. I don't like the blurring ones or the um, silicone-y ones at all that sort of suck up all the moisture. Um, Anyway, yes, this year, 2023, we are, by the time you see this, it will be over halfway through August. And uh, that means we're nearly two thirds of the way through the year. And, you know, summer doesn't appear to have arrived yet still. And I'm aware I do nothing but moan about summer in my videos. Just using some of this um, Wonder 2 lip scrub stuff, which is kind of weird. It's like a balm but with gritty bits in I sort of put it on and then rub it around my lips and then rub it off with a tissue um, but it does seem to get rid of those sort of annoying flaky bits of skin I get a lot of those I, I've always had quite dry lips um, tried every single lip balm known to man but um, yeah two thirds of the way through the year the last couple of months have gone super quickly and then September's going to go by in a flash because we are going to be going on holiday for the first two weeks of September and um, yeah by the time we get back it'll be halfway through September. I literally don't believe that. I don't know if we're at the same level of zooming that we were before or not. That was another delivery man. Right where are we? Under eye brightener. I've just realised as well, I don't have a mirror here and my eyesight is now bad enough that I can't use the viewfinder as a mirror. I need something closer. This is not going well so far, is it? Okay, I now have my trusty Style Pro mirror. Couldn't live without this thing, honestly. Um, right, 
where are we so yeah 2023 has been a mixture really so far of good not so good um at the beginning of the year will moved up to london my son for anybody who doesn't know who's 23 um and it felt like where he finished university last year obviously he'd been back and forth during university because he was at university during covid and um when he moved up to london this year it really felt like we were becoming proper empty nesters so to speak because it was he was going you know to work away and um, not coming back and he's he loves his job he's really enjoying his job and learning lots he works for a tech startup in um central london and um, using the super serum foundation and mixing that with a little bit of the um giorgio armani fluid sheer highlighter um can use any liquid highlighter i just like for in the summer for my foundation to be a little bit glowy and so i just mix the two together on the back of my hand and then dot them in the places on my face where i want to blend them in um yeah so it felt like becoming proper empty nesters he is loving his job and um, they've moved offices recently and he's also moved house twice while he's up there and he's just moved into another flat um a really nice flat which is in within walking distance of work which is blimmin brilliant for you know um living in london because it saves so much on um travel travel costs you know so um they're living in um his girlfriend has just moved up to London as well. She's just finished university in Bath. And I'm going to try this brush for blending my foundation. Um, yeah, she's just finished university in Bath. She did really well. She got first class honours degree. And she's starting work for a big national charity in September on their graduate training programme. So that's exciting. So they've just moved in together properly for the first time, which is lovely. And they're also sharing with another couple who they know they sort of live with, will live with the chap at university. And um, they, they wanted to, they felt like it would save money because accommodation in London is so expensive. Um, moving into a two bedroom place with another couple and it's going really well so far. Um, they're enjoying that. And as I said, Will's in within walking distance of work, which is brilliant. We're hoping to go out to London before the end of the year to um, see them and um, stay for a couple of nights. Not, not with them, obviously, but um, yeah, stay for a couple of nights and have a little visit and um, yeah, looking forward to that and will is coming home for a few days later this month which again is lovely very much looking forward to that i like to really build up over my nose uh, i've got quite a lot of broken veins on my cheeks and um, my nose so i do tend to build up over that area um, a little bit more I'm, I'm not loving this brush it, it's okay it's not as good as my normal revolution foundation brush which is a little bit denser and um, I feel like this is sort of soaking up a lot of the product in fact I'm going to switch over to that one just to finish off a little bit um, so yeah we'll moved away we became proper empty nesters um, this year so we've been sort of getting used to that um we'd obviously had the practice you know when he was at university and then he came home after university and was working from home in his job he had working for a company in ireland but um based but, but based at home here for six months so you know there are pros and cons aren't there you, you really want your children to fly the nest don't you and um find their feet and move on with their lives because that's what we but lovely as it is to have them at home that's what we bring them up to do isn't it to find their feet and um, move on with their lives right i'm going to just set under my eyes with loose powder i use the i can't remember what this is called peach cotton something or other skin food or something like that um i tend to do it with a little velvet powder puff uh, I, if I don't set under my eyes with loose powder, I get masca terrible mascara fallout under my eyes. Uh, it's smudgy and horrible. So um, this is a step that I never miss out. And then once I've set that, I just take a soft brush and just wipe away any excess from there. So then in February, it was my mum's 80th birthday and... Um, we had a lovely family celebration um, in Dorset at a um, 
Holiday Lodge, two Holiday Lodges actually. Um, I can't remember where it's called, on the Jurassic Coast, Sea Town near Chidduck. And um, going in with Laura Mercier pressed powder. Um, love this stuff, I've just bought a replacement because I'm getting to the end of it. I'm gonna use this sort of pointy brush for that, see how that works. Um, yeah, we had a really nice celebration weekend with my brother and his family, all the kids and their partners, and um, yeah, just a really nice family weekend. So that was a nice way to ce celebrate my mum's 80th, obviously. We missed my dad. Um, talking of my dad, he, for anybody who doesn't know, my dad has a father's dementia. He's been living in a care home um, for coming up to two years now, and um, he has really gone downhill a lot this year. It's um, obviously super sad, the whole situation, and, you know, I inevitable as well. And I'm um, just not, I'm feeling like I'm not getting any sort of, um, I still feel tacky. I'm going in, switching that brush out again for my normal brush that I would use for powder because I'm feeling like that is, again, the brush is just sort of eating up the powder. This one is super soft. I love this one. Had it for years. Um, they don't make it anymore, unfortunately. But yeah, that feels a lot better. That's more what I want. I've looked very pale on camera, but um, not so much in real life. I don't know why it's looking like that. Right, bit of bronzer now. This Revolution Baked Bronzer is 100 years old. I don't know if it's, I, I, it's a little bit glowy. It's got this sort, of, it's sort of a baked one and it's got a little bit of glowiness in it. I'm using my normal, my own bronzer brush for this. Um, I can't remember where I was at. You see, I can't do two things at once. I can't really talk about the year and do my makeup. It's not working well for me. Um, yeah, my mum's 80th birthday and then my mum and dad actually, to get out of the order and thing that, that I'm doing, had their diamond wedding anniversary yesterday, 60 years of marriage. And although dad didn't know or well, couldn't comprehend, you know, it was that the care home made such an effort for mum, they bought a big bouquet of flowers and they got dad to sort of write his name in a card for her and um, had a big banner on his bedroom door and stuff, which was just really lovely. It just made it a little bit special, you know. Um, so that was lovely. I popped, popped a post on him at, um, Instagram and you all left such lovely comments and congratulations and I was really grateful for that. It was lovely. So thank you to anybody who left a little heart or a comment or anything. It was much appreciated. Right, a bit of blush. I'm using this Revolution blush stick. I love these. I do prefer in, um, I'm going to use this sort of weird round flattish brush. Don't know if that will work well for blusher, but we'll see. Um, I do prefer a cream blush, really, as I get older. I find too many powdery things on my face don't work well. I do actually like a cream bronzer as well, but I just grabbed that Revolution one out to um, try and use it up a bit because, you know, we need to use up stuff, don't we? My um, using up project is going well quite yet this year for, and it's really made me very mindful about what I buy as well. Um, whether I really need the stuff that I buy um, health and beauty wise which is really good I'm, I'm pleased about it I do put my blush on very high these days and sort of at my temple as well I think with everything drooping as it does it, that, that's actually quite a nice brush I like that one that was a nice brush it put the right amount on it didn't it blended it quite nicely yay for that one the other two Probably not so much, although that, that one I feel like should have been better than it was. I feel like I need to give that one another chance. Um, right, let's pop on some eye primer. I'm using this Urban Decay. Actually, I haven't contoured my nose. I like to contour my nose with um, my little contour stick um, from NYX. So yeah, that was nice. So my mum got the um, telegram, or not telegram, card through the post from um, the King and Queen, which was lovely as well. 
um, for the diamond wedding so that you, ha you actually have to apply online for that um, rather than it just coming automatically just in case anybody else is coming up to their diamond wedding or their hundredth birthday or anything like that if so congratulations how amazing um, oh that's made my nose run a little bit yeah eye primer urban decay love this stuff it's um not the cheapest one but it does last for blimmin ever um it's really really good and it keeps my eyeshadow fresh and there all day holiday wise we've had some really nice trips this year we started the year uh, early january with a four-day cruise which was a bit of a bro bonus really um because we had a deposit from a holiday that was cancelled during COVID that needed to be used up. So that was um, sort of a, a bit of a, it felt like a bit of a freebie really because we paid the deposit so long ago. So we decided to have that little four day cruise and it was lovely. I did a series of um, four, four days of vlogging on that one, which um, I actually quite enjoyed doing as well. Um, but yeah, very nice little start to the year and it sort of made the Christmas period feel a little bit longer, which was nice. Just looking for my eyeshadow, I put my um, mirror on top of that. That's why I couldn't find it. I'm using this Beauty Bay Neutral Palette, which is lovely. It's just a really nice everyday um, eyeshadow palette. Right, I'm gonna try this sort of flat, fluffy-ish brush to put some color through my crease. Um, yeah, so we had our cruise, then we had a little um, trip down to Cornwall in February, I think it was, to Padstow. It's the second year we've done that. We stayed at Rick Stein's restaurant. Really, really enjoyed that. Nice little two-night break. Then in April, we went to Greece. Um, so Kynthos. We went very early April, so it was very much the beginning of the season, and we were aware that the weather wouldn't be, you know, up to par, so to speak, but it was absolutely we had a few nice days and then we had some blimmin' awful days at the end and it was so cold it was very unusual for that time of year lots of the locals we spoke to were saying they couldn't believe how dreadful it had been just trying a fluffy brush to bend, blend that out now quite like the, that brush i just used that was good um yeah so we had that holiday we still had a nice time it was lovely and we stayed in a really gorgeous apartment um and will and georgie jo joined us for a few days as well which was really nice um so yeah that was a nice holiday and then we we're very lucky we did another cruise with my mum my aunt uh, my brother and amanda in um early june we went to the norwegian fields which is a place that's been on my bucket list for a long time and that was lovely just putting some shimmery um sort of a champagne coloured shimmer on my lid there I love a bit of shimmer I just I know that there's a lot of um discussion about whether or not you should wear shimmery eyeshadow as you get older and honestly I don't care because it just makes me happy and I feel like it looks okay um it looks nice even so I will continue to do so as long as I feel like that and it's one of the joys of getting older that you just don't really care about anybody else's opinion so much anymore you, you feel very little need to um, please people that you don't know. It's just, I'm just going in with a slightly darker colour. Uh, that was the one that I, sorry, that was the one that I used first. Then I'm going to go with this one down at the bottom just to do sort of from the middle onwards towards the outside. Um, and I'd li I like to put shimmers on with my finger as well, usually. I find that they go on a bit better as well. And also that I get a little bit less fallout um, onto my cheeks. So that's always quite a good um, thing, I think. Yes, we had a lovely cruise to the Norwegian fields. Absolutely loved that. It was lovely to go with my aunt as well, my dad's sister. It was nice for my mum to have her as a companion and nice for us to spend time with her as well. I feel like we had, you know, a little piece of my dad with us, which was lovely because obviously he can't come on holidays with us anymore. Um, right, I'm just going to darken up. I'm going to use this sort of vaguely pointy one um, and darken up the outer corner with a couple of um, darker shades. I'm just going with the same colour as I did the crease in, first of all. My battery light is now flashing at me. I think this is the video that I've stopped and started the most for quite a long period of any videos that I've done. 
in a while and then this dark one down at the bottom corner here um right and then i'm going to go back to that first fluffy brush that i blended out with and blend again just to make sure there's no harsh edges and everything looks sort of fairly well blended together sometimes i do need to pull the skin at the side of this eye as it gets baggier as i get older i find that does help with the blending process otherwise you get like a little nicks where it um trips through you know as the skin um wrinkles oh the joys of getting older although as i always say the alternative is very unpalatable um so yeah we've done really well for holidays as i said we are off to greece um beginning of september i'm very much looking forward i have no idea if we're still at the same angle or not i've had to take the camera off the tripod to replace the battery it's all a bit of a disastrous day today um or certainly not a well organized one <laughs> never mind right i am looking through these brushes for something to do the underneath of my eye and i'm going to go with this little angled one here and i'm just going to rub that into the i never use eyeliner i tend to use eyeshadow and i just rubbed that into the darker um, shade that I used for the outer corner of my eyes and I tend to just go about halfway across underneath my lower lash line and then just also just at the very corner of my top lash line and um, I find that liner is too harsh as I get older so I prefer the look of eyeshadow underneath my eyes she says doing that really really badly and of course it's easier to smudge out if you make a mistake <laughs> so yeah that's what that looks like and then i'm going to get the smaller version of that brush which is like that has a spoolie on the end um and i like to tight line the waterline that is actually thicker than i would normally use so i go underneath my lash line and this just makes a always say this when I do these videos when you first do this it does make your eyes water it takes a few times to get used to it but I want to show you the difference this makes when I've finished go I get do it with black because I've got quite hooded eyes I don't like to line at the top of my eyelid because it covers up the shimmery bit you know there's not a lot of space up there when my eyes are relaxed but if you compare the two eyes now you'll see this one looks so much more defined than the other one right let me do the other one just dropping stuff off the table here as well um so yeah what else have i got to talk about i suppose i should talk about work well it's been a good year for youtube i've really enjoyed youtube this year i did get a bit burnouty sort of at the end of june and that's when i I talked to you about that and I said that I was going to just not stick to a rigid timetable and make fewer videos and I have marginally made fewer but at the moment I'm sort of every three days which is, is working well for me and um, creatively I feel like I've got lots of ideas which is great for video content. Sometimes when you don't have ideas I feel it can get a bit stale um, when it's a struggle to think of things to do that's when it becomes harder you know where am i with a mascara have i got a mascara i feel like i haven't got a mascara did i just oh i just dropped the mascara off the desk that's why right essence lash princess mascara less than four pounds such a bargain absolutely love it i'm going to do mascara off camera because i'm hopeless at doing mascara on camera okay mascara is done going further in than that before right just lips to do bit of lip liner this is going to be difficult to do it whilst talking so perhaps i'll um do a silent one and speed it up and lips are done 
Right, all that remains is a little spritz of setting spray, which I do tend to use every day. Not necessarily this one, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, I do tend to use setting spray every day because I feel like it makes a big difference um, in terms of keeping my makeup fresh. But when you're talking, it takes a lot longer to do your makeup than when you're not talking. So thoughts on this set of brushes. I really liked this little flat one that I used to do the blusher. That was pretty nice. And a couple of the eye brushes, were, the blending brush in particular was really nice and soft. Um, and that would be a good one. I didn't use that one today, but that would be a good one for doing sort of defined, you know, if you wanted to only do, get in a small area, that would be good. And the one I used for my crease was good. So yeah, for 10 quid for the whole set, I don't mind having a couple of duds. And to be honest, um, I'm really fussy about foundation brushes. That might be perfectly good for some people. Also, bear in mind, it's the first time I've used it. And sometimes when you use a brand new brush, it can um, soak up the foundation, can't it? Um, it's better after a few goes. So um, I don't quite know what this one's for. This one's a bit of a mystery to me. It's circular and flat and angled. Don't know what you'd use that for. Maybe under the eyes, possibly. But um, anyway, I'll pop a link in um, the description box if anyone's looking. You could do a lot worse than that set for 10 quid, I have to say. Um, you, you get quite a lot of bang for your buck there. Um, I'll also link all the products that I used. I hope you enjoyed this. It was nice having a little chat and catch up. And um, let me know how your year's gone so far. Have you had a good 2023? Have you got plans? I was, the other bit I was going to do in this was sort of talk about plans for the last third of the year, but perhaps I'll do that in another video at some point because I feel like I've run out of time and I've got my face on now. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.